Hey guys, welcome back to another Code and Flamingo video. In this video, we're gonna look at how to create a Twitter bot. We're actually just gonna see how to call the APIs and kind of from there, kind of like teach you how to fish and then you can add any APIs. Also feel free to do a pull request, any APIs you do to this repo so then other people can use this library and kind of create a C-sharp library for Twitter. So first you have to create a developer account. So you go to developer.twitter.com you sign in with the account that it's going to be the bot. So if you're going to try to do kind of like a special bot to retweet hashtags or something like that, make sure you create the account for that first, because if you do it on your account, you can't just kind of like that account becomes the bot. And I mean, you can still use the account, but you probably want a different one. You would not make the same mistake I made, but yeah, after that, you have to go to the keys and we're going to use a bearer token, uh, since it's for like the V2 and it's kind of like the best way to do it. And you would create one here. You can always revoke it if it gets compromised or something. After that, you have to go to their uh, docs and kind of like go through them and see what you want to do and, and kind of build your APIs. They also have a Postman setup, all the files. So you can just see all the queries there and you just have to port them to the library that I already kind of created. So now let's go through the library. So in here, I just created a Twitter service. It's basically an HTTP client. I have uh, poly, which I have covered before, but it basically retries if there is some transient error and it will try every two, four and eight seconds if it fails. And then in here I have two functions written, get user followers. So this will get the, the user followers and then get users that are, that you're following. And as you can see, it's almost the same URL. It just changes the following. And then here we have to pass the, the user ID. And all this code is in GitHub, so make sure to just go there and, and look at it. The, the link is down below. And then here we just have like a call generic that will call either a get, post, delete, or anything you need. And yeah, so it's very straightforward. And in here I already have the program written to kind of go get the token. I get it from Key Vault. I hate tutorials that just kind of like put the secret there and don't teach you how to do it. I already have videos on Key Vault, so I'm not going to cover it but I'm going to link them down below. So make sure to check out those videos about how you should keep your bear token. Remember it's a password to kind of like your account. So you should keep it safe. And then we're creating the Twitter service and in here I'm passing the user ID and that's what we're going to change in this one, just to see how you would create a new API call. And then we're getting the user followers and who is following. And then we do some link to see who are the followers who do I follow that don't follow me and who follows me that I don't follow back. And then we just print them out. And if there is an error, we just say there was an error. All right. So as you can see here, uh, you have to pass the user ID, not the username. And you have to be able to get that first. Let's go to the Twitter service. And in here, we're going to copy our functions and we're going to call it a user ID and we're going to pass a user name. We change the check to make sure that it's not empty. And then in here, we have to change the URL to meet whatever we had in Postman and paste it. And we're going to replace my username with user name. Then this is going to call the generic. It's going to do a get, and then we have to deserialize it. So for this, we have to get the JSON from Postman. And this is one of my favorite things on Visual Studio. So we're going to create a new class. We're going to call it user tweets model. And in here, we're just going to do edit, paste special, paste JSON as class. And then I just paste the, the JSON as a class. So what do you know to need to deserialize it? Then I like having them in capital letters and following naming conventions. So I'm just going to pause the video, do that. All right, so we're back after making this class pretty, as usual, you can see it in the GitHub. And then we go back to our Twitter service and we are going to serialize into the user tweets model. And we're actually gonna return a string for this one. And we're gonna see if we actually get a valid response. And if we do, And then we'll return the user ID. And if not, we'll return null. So here we can see our response includes users first or default ID. 
And if we see here, it's just, it's in the includes and then it's the user that posted it and then the ID that we want. So after that, all we have to do is call our new function. Actually, we have to add it to the interface because to make our test, our library testable, we had to make interface. So now we just re replace this with Twitter service, get user ID. And in here, we're just gonna put code in Flamingo. We're just gonna make sure that it's not null. If it's null, we, we have to return because there was an error. All right, and then after that, we just have to run it. And now it's gonna go get our secret from Key Vault. And then it's gonna go get the username and then it's gonna get our followers. We don't follow back. And then it tells you who doesn't follow back. That's how you create a Twitter bot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.